9.02 left here in the first half with uh, Tyrone trailing 8-3. to three, And after the penalty, they'll have a third down and eight yards to go from their own 33-yard line. And uh, don't forget, this is the first of 10 high school football game of the weeks. Games of the week on WHVL the next week on 9-11. We will be at Clearfield High School for the battle between Clearfield and Phillipsburg Osceola following up on the 18th. A Central High School visits Belfont. That'll be my last game before I move over to my other job as the play-by-play voice of Penn State Icers Hockey. So I'll be with you for the next uh, three weeks, or the next two weeks after tonight. And then uh, on September 25th, it'll be Penns Valley at Lewistown. Then we head into October on the 2nd. Holidaysburg visits Indian Valley. A week later on the 9th, Westmont Hilltop will be at Bishop McCourt. Phillipsburg Osceola at Tyrone on October 16th. And then on the 23rd, the big battle between Altoona and State College. Huntington and Clearfield on the 30th. And then November 6th, we'll wrap up our regular season with Bald Eagle at Belfont. All right, out of the shotgun. They run the reverse. And the pass by Ditch. And it's caught down the field and all the way to the 20-yard line. A little razzle-dazzle. And a flag on the play is going to advance it more on a bit of a horse collar tackle. And it was Desch, the passer, and on the receiving end was Nick Patton. And we'll uh, wait for the official call, but that one is going to be 47 yards unofficially. As Reihart tossed to Desch, and Desch fired to Patton. Penalty will take the ball half the distance to the goal line. And it'll be first and goal from the 10 with 8.51 left here in the opening half of play at this 76 backyard brawl. So after Reihard scampered all the way from the touchdown that was brought back by the holding call, the Golden Eagles didn't get deflated and they have responded with a little... Razzle-dazzle play, and now they face first and goal at the Bellwood Annis 10-yard line. Of course, they had a first and goal from the one in the first quarter and were unable to score and had to settle for the field goal as standing up number 22, Christian Getz, was Bobby DeArmit, and Getz just ran into a brick wall. Bit of a... Size advantage for DeArmond, obviously, six foot, 210 pounder. And uh, Getz, a sophomore, looks all of about 150 pounds soaking wet. But he has uh, been impressive here in this first half for Tyrone. 8.13 left here in the opening half. As Desch comes in motion, Reihart fakes and runs the option around the corner inside the 10. Another flag on the play is. Down to the five-yard line is Reihart, and he was hauled down by Nick DeGaulle. We'll wait to see what this flag is. Holding against Tyrone, another offensive penalty for this young Golden Eagles squad. And these are the ones that uh, the coaches don't like to see, even though it is the opening night. That's what the preseason practicing is all about, but game conditions, emotions get a little uh, a little high and sometimes get the best of the players, especially young players and inexperienced players that Tyrone have, as I mentioned several times. The only two returning starters from last year's team, quarterback Levi Reihart and wide receiver Eric Desch. The rest of the squad had very little playing time to speak of for head coach John Franco. So with eight minutes left here in the first half, second and goal from the 16. And again, another flag, and this time it's going to be delay a game. So the wheels continue to spin for the Golden Eagles as they get these opportunities and have them erased by the uh, officials' handkerchiefs. So now the ball is spotted at the 22, and or check that 
Yeah, 22-yard line, first and or uh, second and goal from the 22. Still eight minutes left here in this second quarter. Catch splits. Wide left, and Reihart fakes it in the middle, back to pass, and wide open at the 10 is Desch, and he avoids a couple of defenders, dives for the end zone, touchdown! And no flags on the field, so Tyrone with 7.51 left here in the first half. Goes up on top by a score of 9-8 to eight as Tyler Reihart connects with Desch for the TD. Jared Templeton will attempt the point after. Dash will be the holder. Templeton again, a straight on kicker. And again, another flag and another time count delay. So he'll just try it from five yards further back. They line everybody up over here on the right side of the field and hustle across. And of course, that. All helps to uh, take the time off of the allotted time that they have to get the play on their way. And uh, as a result, the back judge throws the flag. So this time from the 15-yard line, no problem there as he splits the uprights with a lot to spare. So 7.51 left in the opening half, and it is now Tyrone 10 and Dullwood Annis 8. We'll take a break and be back to the 76th annual Backyard Brawl live from Bellwood Annis Memorial Stadium on WHVL-TV. 